So this is day one of the trek, 1800 meters to around 2700 meters to the jungle camp, also known as a tree camp. <laughs> around five kilometers so not a very difficult walk walk through the jungle so it was quite fine but as you can see a lot of a lot of tents we're going to shira camp today shira camp one apparently shira camp is named after the war that they had between the tribes over here so it's going to be around nine kilometers of hike uh, we're going to go from this is at 2800 meters the forest camp 3800 meters and then back down to 3600 meters which is where we will tent uh sashira so camp one it is around 3500 meters right now none of us seem to be feeling anything it was a good walk not too difficult and it took us around five hours we went up and came down to 3500 and we'll be here today just chilling around we'll go to shira base 2 today it's going to take us from around 3600 to 3850 meters or so so Shira Camp 1 is actually where if you're coming from Landro Sea Gate, uh, you'll come directly over here on the first day. But because we came through the Lamosho Gate, we had the forest camp or the tree camp as day one uh, camping. So we are at Shira 2. We got some tired people along with us. Exhausted, not tired. Exhausted. Exhausted. But we just finished like 10 kilometers today. Shira 2 is uh, around uh, 3,800 meters or so. So we went from 3,500 to 3,800. It's pretty flat. Yesterday was, yesterday was uh, you know, uh, comparatively steep and apparently that's the most challenging part. And a few of us actually had uh, a bit of uh, headache. But uh, they had paracetamol and it was okay. I was personally fine. Just drink a lot of water and it's perfectly okay. So we're going to be over here today. It's going to get cold because this is apparently an open place compared to tomorrow when we will go a little into the mountain of sorts. It'll be covered by the mountain so it won't be as cold. So let's see how that goes on. So far so good. There yeah, we started. Yeah. Yeah. So day four. Uh, day six Tanzania. And we are heading today from Shira Camp 2 to Baranko Camp. So we will be, we are at 3,800 meters odd or so. We'll be going to around 4,600 meters, which is the Lava Tower. And then we'll go down back to 3,900 meters, which is the Baranko Camp. So that's why we are layering up a bit. Overall, we expect it to be done in five hours, but we'll see. And most likely, we'll see other uh, trekkers coming in from the other route at Branco camp so we expect that to be a little more crowded
made it to the Baranka camp. It's 2 o'clock now. We started at around 7.45. Went to the Lava Tower. Reached around 12, 12.30. And it took another one and a half hours to two hours to reach. It was a pretty steep descent from 4,600 to 3,900 meters. As you can see behind me. It was a tough one for me. But I think now we're going to rest. And tomorrow we've got a short day before the big day on the day after tomorrow. So today we are at the Baranco camp. As I said, yesterday was a bit strenuous for me um, after a good rest. And because we were at a similar elevation of around 3900, I think most of us had a lovely sleep and sleeping is the most important over here. Today, we are going to be crossing the Baranco wall to reach the Karanga camp. Karanga camp because it is named after the river. Um, Karanga apparently I think it's the source I'm not sure about that and if you can see the wall behind me that's what we will be crossing today this Baranko camp is actually the place where uh, multiple routes join in like the Machame Urungwe and of course us from Lemosho and Landrosa so there's a lot of uh, crowd that goes and there are some who leave early in the morning because they skip the Karanga camp and they go straight to Barafa, which is a base camp. So we made it and how do you think it was Manish? This was a really fun section from yeah. Baranko to Karanga. The best part was the wall and the kissing wall. Yeah. Where you had to you know, walk like a, and a monkey. climb like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. It was not easy. It was tough, but it was beautiful and it was fun. But it was not as hard as we thought also. It was it, not it looked big, it but looked it, it got over. It looked intimidating, but it got over soon. Super. Yeah. Super. So now we are all here, Karanga camp today. Almost four hours that we took. And as you can see, our next pit stop is going to be the base camp tomorrow. The Barafu camp. So, the good thing is today, also we are going to be at around 3,900 meters, so it's good for acclimatization. And uh, this camp looks much more crowded, because I, like I said, from Baranka camp, from the Baranko uh, camp, we had many more routes coming in. So this is the base camp. So climbing the 
Kirimanjaro peak, which you can see behind me. And if you can see, I think there are some people who are descending. It's around 12:30 now. We took close to around four hours to come. It is not a big climb. And today is a relatively restful day. And uh, tonight we are going to have to start our summit. We'll see when it starts. I think it'll start at around 12 o'clock before uh, our trek leader is going to tell us. So what you can see behind me at that corner is the Maunzi Peak, which is around 5,100 meters. So apparently uh, the first eruption was uh, the Shira camp, which later flattened. This was the second eruption at around 5,100 meters. Nobody climbs there. I believe it is not allowed because uh, it's a lot of rocks that keep falling. And the most recent one and the highest one, which is at around 5,800 or so, the one that we're going to target for tomorrow, is the Kibo. Uh, actually, tomorrow, when we reach the stellar point, which is at Kibo, which is the first high point, uh, we're going to meet uh, other trekkers coming in from uh, the Marango route, uh, which is, if, you, if you've seen or if you're checking, it's the one which has the lodging and which takes around five days. So we expect to have some more crowd tomorrow at the summit, but so far so good. We're at 4,600 meters, we are on top of Mount Meru, Mount Meru is at around 4,500 meters, I can't see it right now, but I'll show it later, but otherwise we are on. One thing that I forgot to tell you yesterday, the beginning part of the trekking is kind of like incline and then it's covered with rocks. Mm -hmm. Well, some sort of barranco wall, but it's not going to be long like that. One dream, One dream. Non-stop. To, to the top. To the top. Non-stop. How with the Josh? Hi, Hi sir. sir. Right, let's do it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Super duper. from the hike for day seven the Kilimanjaro peak so we managed to successfully do it we left last night at around 12 o'clock and um, we reached the summit at around 6 6 30 saw the Uhuru and um, I just had to run away from there because it was extremely cold and um, uh, the the other part is even when you come back then you need to get down you have a pretty long a uh, muddy path uh, filled with small gravels ideally you will have to skid through it uh, so use your poles you make sure that you have your poles or you have somebody to hold your hand uh, because otherwise uh, it's going to be a torturous uh, journey back so we uh, managed to reach uh, by nine o'clock in the morning and that's because we wanted to run away from there and we want to get into a camp because it was excruciating uh, the um, six hours hike was not easy at all because we were covering around four kilometers it was one of the shortest um, distance wise um, across all the days but in terms of the altitude we were gaining around 1300 meters so we were going from 46 to 4600 to close to 5900 so so yeah um, otherwise uh, just make sure that you're all fully geared up for the uh, weather uh, because uh, it's extremely cold so what was recommended to us was uh, five layers on top, three layers and below. I did not have it, but I thought and I wished that I had it because it was uh, quite cold. 
and um, yeah uh, outside that uh, let me also uh, with the man himself <laughs> sir baraka who gracefully took us kili vanjaro nature tours customized trip we we went and we saw many other groups going as well there were hardly two or three guys for maybe 15 to 20 people while for us individually our bags were carried our gloves were put on our hands water was given to us and we were cheered all the way through some lovely folk tanzanian songs so definitely if you have to come to tanzania do not go for the big ones because i know even uh, in india for the big uh, himalayan treks in big groups they don't really care they only have one or two guys and they really don't care about how you are doing whether you are you know dying or falling or whatever they will not care but here it's a completely different picture you will be taken care of so please <laughs> thank you so much also I forgot to say why this is additionally the hardest day for today because today we also have to leave the barafu camp and go down so here we have an option of either going 4 kilometers or 7 kilometers that's the higher or the lower camp we're trying to aim for the lower camp so that tomorrow we'll have less to walk and we could reach our hotel sooner the final day just day 8 and we head back to our base camp finally so we are going from millennium camp which is run 3900 to the muika gate which should be at around 1800 or so so again a 2000 meters descent but very happy about it because we are going to finally get back into some sort of civilization